I'm going to show you how to rescue a curdled buttercream. And you might be thinking, well, how on earth can you curdle a buttercream? It's just butter and icing sugar beaten together in moments, very easy, pretty foolproof. And often, of course, for your standard buttercream, that is exactly what it is. But often I like to get a lot of flavours into my buttercreams. So things such as fruit purees or alcohols often. And you want to get enough of those liquid flavours into there so that your buttercream really takes on the flavour that you want. And a few teaspoons or so of, of extra liquid is really just not going to cut it. And then what can happen is the buttercream gets to the point, everything is working beautifully, it's blending fantastically, and all of a sudden it just won't go any further and all the liquid that you've put in just starts to seep out of the mixture. It is horrible. As I stir the spoon, I can just see little pockets of moisture and some of the fruit puree just taunting me really. And the trick is to use melted chocolate. Now I'm using white chocolate here because I don't want it to affect the colour of the buttercream, but any of the other chocolates would be absolutely fine. But you do need to cool it enough so that when you add it to the buttercream, it's not just going to make the buttercream all melt as well. And then you've just got more problems than you started with. So it's still fairly runny. And I've used about 50 grams of chocolate to roughly 200 grams or so of buttercream. And it's not a lot of chocolate, but that will be enough to bring it all together. And I'm just going to pour it in. and then just beat. And then straight away, what I've got is a buttercream that now is beautifully soft. It holds its shape perfectly. 